Lesson 10, Key Signatures, Part 2. Today we're going to be going over more examples for um, words. So just as a quick review, our process for identifying a major key given flats in our key signature is to identify the flats, note the second to last flat, and um, that second to not last flat becomes your key signature, or oh, sorry, becomes the major key. So let's look at a couple of examples. So in our first one, we have two flats. This is a B flat, this is an E flat, and I'm looking for our second to last flat, which would be this one. So that means that it's in B flat major. Next, let's look at this example. We have three flats, um, B flat, A flat, and this would be A flat. Um, so now let's look at our second to last. Well, our second to last would be E flat major. So that means that we're in E flat major. Let's look at our next example. We have four flats. Again, same drill. B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat. And for all of these, I've memorized the, the acronym that we were talking about in the previous lesson, which is bead gum candy fruit, which is why I'm able to identify these uh, the order of flats much easier. So our second to last flat would be A flat. So it's A flat major. All right, so here's our next example. And we can begin by identifying our flats. B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, C flat, and F flat. Now we're going to look at our second to last flat, which would be C flat. So that means that we're in C. C flat. Now let's switch it up a little bit and look at something in the bass clap because before we were in the treble clap. Now one thing that I did not talk about in the last video is what if there's just one flat in the major key? Well, our three-step process wouldn't work because there, were, there aren't two flats to begin with, so there is no second to last flat. So what does a B flat in the key signature mean? Well, this is where it gets kind of weird, but if there's just one flat in the key signature, that means that it's an F major. Now, this is just something that you're going to need to memorize, but this is like the only case where our three-step process doesn't work. So, based on that, we know that this is an F major. Alright, let's move on to this one. We have B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, and G flat. Our second to last flat, we know the drill, D flat, so it's in D flat major. 
And our last example for today, we have B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, and C flat. Our second to last flat is a G flat. So it's in G flat. G flat. So key things to um, take away from this video are once again memorize the acronym bead gum candy fruit and the second thing which is um, equally important is that if there's only one flat in the key signature which is obviously going to be a B flat, then it's the major key is F major. And that's it for today's video.